I know I say this for every single video, but I 100% mean it for every video and for this one. I'm so freaking excited. We are in month two of the Hollow Thankmas. And on the last Saturday of this month of November, during the Thanksgiving week and weekend, Small Business Saturday is celebrated. And this year it falls on the 26th of November. I have been celebrating Small Business Saturday since I moved to Burbank. It's one of my favorite holidays ever. But like I said on this channel many, many times, support small businesses 24 seven. While November has Small Business Saturday, Small Business Month is actually in the month of May. Small Business Month was announced by Gavin Newsom in May, 2020. In the proclamation, he mentions California is the fifth largest economy in the world and consists of more than 4.2 million small businesses. They also represent 99.8% of all business in California and employ over 7 million people, which is about half of the state's private sector workforce. It is so important to shop small, to support small businesses, to shop local, support people's passions and dreams, and keep their business afloat. It brings the community together, and let's be honest, these small businesses, their products, whether it be food or merchandise, slaps hard. And Burbank is flooded with plenty of small businesses. So that's we cue in today's video. In honor of Small Business Saturday coming up, today's video is going to be me going to as many small businesses as I can on the strip of Magnolia here in Burbank and visiting them, purchasing their items and bringing you guys along. I'm going to be vlogging it. I'll be telling you guys the name of the location, a little brief story slash description and also their hours. And all this information plus their social Social media is going to be linked in the description below. Okay, we're up bright and early, guys. Let's get this day started. Good morning. We are bright up and early. It is 6.52 in the morning. And we're at our first stop, which is St. Boba and Donuts. Now, I don't have that much information on this place. I can only find just the Yelp link, but it is your mom and pop donut shop that sells also boba, like the title says, and some sandwiches, some pastries, muffins, you name it. And the hours are 5 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Monday through Saturday. And they're closed on Sunday. So it's for the early bird people, graveyard shifts, all that. So let's go inside. It's time to eat. So I ordered three things and while I wait for my drink and my sandwich, I got a donut because it's St. Boban Donuts. I gotta honor the name. I got a bear claw. I've been craving a bear claw. Mm. It has filling inside. I did not know bear claws have filling. The two items I got was a sausage, egg, and cheese croissant. And of course, because it's boba, I got a cookies and cream boba with whipped cream. Mm. Not as sweet as I thought it would be. Brought my own jelly for the sandwich. Let's try it first without sauce. This also has mayo in it. This reminds me of California donuts sandwich I tried. That's so good. Thank you so much, it was really good. Stop number two, this famous blue wall. 
Forget the pink wall at Melrose. It's a blue wall now because we are at Martino's Bakery. The long-standing family-run bakery selling a variety of sweet treats and of course their home of the world famous tea cake. I have talked about this place so many times on my channel from my Halloween themed taste test to my birthday vlog. They do special events. They do custom designs for my 20th birthday party. I got a Pennywise cake designed here. I'm so excited because I'm actually going to try some things that I haven't eaten here before. So no tea cake this time, but that's okay. Their hours are 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Saturday, and they're closed on Sundays. say okay guys okay friends many many times in this video i have three things first thing i'm gonna have because it's tiny is a little red velvet cake ball i've had their cake balls before i had the chocolate one so i'm excited to try this one mm. Mm. next up is a maple danish look at this thing Mmm, I was in the mood for some bread with glaze on top, like frosting. This is really good. I chose the right decision. I couldn't make up my mind if I wanted this, the bear claw, or an apple danish. And lastly, we have a chocolate chip, like a chocolatey chocolate chip muffin. Mmm. 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 That's so soft. The texture is amazing. Okay, guys, now it is 7 36 a.m. And I just placed an online order for the next location I'm gonna walk to right now. So I'll meet you guys over there. We are doing lots of walking today. <laughs> I should have brought my step watch to see how many steps I take today. Third stop is Norm's Restaurant, not to be confused with the chain Norm's. I talked about this place in my Halloween video from last year in 2021. This is a fast serve American eatery, part of a venerable chain for burgers, steaks, and breakfast in chill digs. Now I know I have yet to try like other breakfast burritos, but this is so far the number one spot to get a breakfast burrito. It's so good. It ties with Cafe de Oya's breakfast burrito. So the other location that I found was in Whittier, California, and the hours are from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. for the week and Saturdays, and then 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Sundays. Like I mentioned about the breakfast burrito, that's what I got this morning. I placed an online order. It's already ready. I gotta go pay, and yeah, I'm so excited. It's been a while since I've had their breakfast burrito, and today's the day. I had to get it today. Okay, so I'm seated down. I got my order, and what I got is their steak breakfast burrito, which has steak, cheese, eggs, and potatoes, because a breakfast burrito has to have hash browns in it and potatoes. Like you can't take it out. So I cut it in half. This is how it looks like. And it's a pretty, pretty big size. When it comes to evaluating breakfast burritos, I feel like it's important for like what's in it and then also how big it is. So look how big this is. And I have ranch on the side and some ketchup packets. So let's first bite into it without sauce. Mmm. Mmm. So good. I miss this breakfast burrito. And they hooked me up with a lot of potatoes. A little bit of ranch. Mmm. 
I'm in heaven. out of 10 recommend that burrito one of the best burritos ever to exist but we're not done guys stop number four is next. Of walking just kidding I think it was a little less than that stop number four is going to be romancing the bean if there's something Burbank has besides a lot of small businesses is a lot of cafes casually family-owned cafe serving breakfast and lunch delights in a comfortable stylish setting and their hours are from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the week slash Saturdays and on Sundays they're from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. I'm already thinking about what I'm gonna get I looked at their menu last night and I think I have an idea what I want is so pretty it's nice and cozy there's a huge table I have right here there's a bunch of other chairs I can't imagine like on a Saturday or Sunday when it's like super busy I did say that I saw their menu beforehand and I saw that they have a fall drink menu which they only have limited items now there's a lot that they run out of but I got the one that I was looking for and that is the upside down not shake I'm sorry I forgot what he called it it's like a, it's like basically a shake, not a frappuccino because it doesn't have coffee, which is great for me. They have an, a Friends Don't Lie, they have a Hellfire Club, Stranger Things themed drinks. So of course I'm sold. I'm so excited. Ice blended charcoal mocha and strawberry puree with your choice of milk, red drizzle, and top with whipped cream. Let's give it a try. A lot of my drinks have not been like as sweet. This is good. It's giving me a cookies and cream milkshake vibe with less thickness. It's very watery. The food is here and I decided to get their cacao oatmeal. So I've been eating a burrito already. I've had a sandwich, so I want to change it up. And I took a picture of what the description looks like. The cacao oatmeal is made with coconut milk served with maple syrup topped with toasted coconut and almonds. And then I added a huge scoop of peanut butter because if there's two things that have to be on your oatmeal, it's bananas and peanut butter. And just thinking about it, I forgot to put strawberries on here, but oh well. I'm going to put a little bit of maple syrup on it. It's nice and steaming. I'm so excited. Let's get everything in one bite. Mm. This takes me back to the oatmeal challenge I did back in June. <laughs> Adding peanut butter. And the oatmeal isn't sweet if you eat it by itself because cacao is the essence of chocolate. It's raw, so adding a little bit of the syrup adds sweetness to it and it's perfectly balanced. Next time I would add strawberries and blueberries because I love to add as many fruits as possible on my oatmeal. lover of oatmeal number one and if you don't like plain oatmeal that just tastes like oatmeal and the toppings do all the work then I don't recommend this for you but if you're an oatmeal enthusiast or you're very open to trying new things and you like oatmeal I highly recommend this cacao oatmeal it's delicious this caught my eye on the menu The 
walking and the grind continues, guys. We are in stop number five, which is Boulevard Cafecito. This is my dad's favorite coffee shop. It holds the number one spot right now. He gets their cortadito every single day, like almost every single day. But trust me, I feel like six out of the seven days of the week. So much that a barista here actually knows his name. I've had their iced vanilla latte with oat milk. So I think I'm gonna get the same thing, we'll see. Boulevard Cafecito, Burbank is blessed with many coffee shops. Like I said, hours are 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. during the week and then 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. on the weekends. I love this place, it's so cozy. I love coffee shops. I love coffee, though I drink mostly decaf. that oatmeal is digesting, I think I'm gonna stick to drink. Cause the next place that we're headed to for stop number six is going to be another coffee place. So I got my usual at Cafecito, but this time I got it decaf just to be safe. Cause sometimes coffee gets me just too out of balance. I get their iced vanilla latte with oat milk and decaf version this time. I got a small and this thing slaps. Mm. Oh, so good. Usually I add two Splendas to this, two to three, because I love my stuff sweet. I'm a sugar demon, I'll keep repeating that, but because I've had so much today, I think I'm okay with just as it goes. This is actually a place that I go to every single small business Saturday. This one in another location, it's been a tradition to come after work, because I usually work on Saturdays. I would come get myself a little cafecito, and then for dinner I would go support another small business. But this place has my dad's support 24 freaking seven. Voice over time because of course my microphone had to die. I was filming myself explaining the next stop right next to a crosswalk because there was this stand thing right there. You know, just vlog things. This mic had to die close to when not only I was close to taking a break because after this location I quickly visited two more, but the one I was excited to show and verbally talk about because y'all look at this coffee shop. Stop number six is the Palm Coffee Bar some pinky beach palm tree vibes at this place and every selfie enthusiast and instagram photo opportunity dream i sat on some comfy pillows next to their photo booth and next to this pink phone booth which i'm not sure actually works but i remember reading a sign that it does if you put in some sense but i was having the time of my life next time i come here i'm gonna have someone take me a picture next to it and the bathroom too was an experience pink and pink and pink everywhere Reading their story online was lovely. From how the team behind this coffee shop got this idea through some conversation and champagne on New Year's Eve, to wanting to bring a different twist to a coffee shop. The design and decor is intentional to have customers feel like they are on a vacation or having a celebration, even if it's just coffee. They also have relationships with other small shops, such as provision for their coffee, Rishi tea, Sugar Bloom. Y'all read the story up on their website because it emphasizes the importance of shopping small and local. And their hours are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. for the week and weekend. I was planning on just getting coffee, but I saw this biscuit, which looks so good, and the description reeled me in, so of course I had to get that, so I got that and a drink. The bacon cheddar biscuit, which is flaky sour cream biscuit layered with rich cheddar cheese, heart bacon, and chives. And then I got the Lucky Charm, which is blueberry matcha, oat milk, and lucky marshmallows. Okay, for the coffee, two things. I did not see the description of the Lucky Charm because on their display menu, it didn't have one. So as a hater of matcha, I did not know it was going to be matcha. The name itself, the Lucky Charm, just caught my eye. Second, I asked for a blended, but the lady didn't hear me, so she gave me ice, but that's okay. She was super sweet, and I was also 
genuinely surprised by this drink. So of course the delicious marshmallows, I love that topping on there, but the drink itself was surprisingly oddly tasty. She suggested it with oat milk. It wasn't as sweet, the marshmallows paired well with it, and again, it wasn't nasty at all. But I would not necessarily get it again because I'm just genuinely not a fan of matcha and you can still taste it, but the flavor, just it oddly worked out for the first time and the only time. However, I would get it blended because that's another story. And one last thing, I was just drinking up this drink. It was, it was, it was good. It was good. I gotta give it that. Moving on to the biscuit though, freaking Lady Gaga, oh my goodness. So crispy, doughy, flaky, the cheese and bacon. It was delicious room temperature, but if I were to heat it up, I'd probably die in heaven. Delicious is an understatement. This place has even more drinks and food and they also have more specialty drinks that I'm seeing as I'm editing this video that I want to try for the next time. And I'm definitely coming back for this biscuit. I love the vibes, I love the staff, I love the food. Such a cute place that brought me so much joy. Also, I decided to buy a t-shirt. In the little hallway that you see, they have a display of plants and other stuff you can buy next to a fridge section where they sell rat foods and beverages. So I decided to buy one of these t-shirts because the design caught my eye and it says talk to the palm haha <laughs> we we love puns in this house we stand puns and i also need more regular teas here's to stop number six and now we're off to stop number seven stop number seven is candy's market ah uh. Burbank's most famous and loved, and by me too. Candy Market is a compact full-service grocery store also offering prepared meals and Saturday parking lot barbecue specials. When I tell you the amount of candy my fam and I have consumed when we first moved here, I'm not kidding, every single Saturday when we got introduced to their barbecues, every Saturday they take out their barbecue in the parking lot and they have stuff from ribs to half chicken to corn to mac and cheese, guacamole, beans. We would get it every single Saturday and then we'd bring my cousins over and also my other relatives and we'd all have just like family time with Handy Barbecue. And during the pandemic, they were still operating the barbecue. So I would buy their half chicken without any sauce, their tri-tipped medium, and mac and cheese. And we'd also get their homemade guacamole, we'd get their tortilla chips. They also sell a bunch of other items, just like a grocery store. Oh my goodness, and their sandwiches. Last year, when I was going back to the movies, I would usually go after work on Fridays, and instead of eating at the movies, I would get my tri my sandwich here, not tri-tip sandwich. They have a famous tri-tip sandwich I have not tried yet, the barbecue tri-tip sandwich. It's only served, unfortunately, on Saturday, so I won't be getting that today. But their paninis, maybe one day I should make a video on just my creation here because I get a panini and that's like my go-to. Don't know what I'm gonna eat today. I'm probably just gonna shop for a snack. I also have to pick up something for my mom here. We'll see. Let's go inside and see what I'm gonna get. Maybe a little little snacky snack. So I got one more stop after this. Also, Handy's hours are from 7.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Sunday. I was craving onions, but this time the Cheetos have my eye. We're gonna get Cheetos. These remind me of middle school. And stop number eight. 
eight is Dona Hut Official. Just like Martino's, I have talked about this place so many times on this channel. It's a family run counter service donut shop that also sells other goodies like sandwiches, muffins, and their hot chocolate, y'all. I get a large hot chocolate, it's so freaking good. Their hours are 24 hours. So if you want a donut at 2.34 a.m. in the morning, you can come get it. But little warning, they only accept cash here, but they do have an ATM just right here, outdoor by their seats and you can just put in your card, redeem some cash, and get your donut. So what's missing from this place, guys? You. My camera's about to die, so let's eat these little goodies a little fast. From this place, I decided just to get my usual that I get. It's either the Big Fat Fancy Donut, which is a cinnamon roll donut, or the famous Cronut. This is so freaking good. This is the place where I tried my first ever cronut. So good. So good. Mm. And from handy I got Cheetos. Sweet and salty. Oh, oh these remind me of middle school, like I said. Good. Okay. Sometimes you just crave chips. My camera continues to beep. I have a couple seconds for it, guys. This is where we're going to have our little break. I will see you guys in a couple of hours because we have many more small businesses to visit. Cheers to the eight stops we did this morning. Hey, y'all. Happy 2.23 p.m. in the afternoon and for stop number nine we're actually going to be going somewhere that's not on the strip of magnolia this is one of the two restaurants that i included in today that's not on the strip of magnolia because i just really really wanted to go to this place they're small businesses as well it's just they're not in the same location as my other stops i visited before to pick up food for my dad because that day I actually had an event, had a birthday party to go to, so I didn't get to eat at this place. Let me tell you about this one because it's special. This is Chili John's Burbank, a longtime restaurant leading out Texas style chili in a retro diner-like space. I just wanna tell you a little story time for this place because it has a long history, but also a story during the pandemic. So this place was actually one of the many businesses that was in jeopardy of closing during the pandemic until Snoop Dogg and Todd Graves, who is the CEO CEO of Raising Canes, and he's also the creator of a TV show called Restaurant Recovery. They saved the business, and this actually went on the news. Many California businesses have been hit hard during the pandemic, none more than restaurants. Chili John's right around the corner from our studio was one of those in real trouble until Restaurant Recovery came to the rescue and brought a special surprise to help. With the help of some famous friends. It's a pleasure to meet you, ladies. It's a family-owned business, and this is the type of thing that we're supposed to support. I just can't believe somebody like you is doing this for people like us. Thank you so much. This is Restaurant Recovery. And Todd Graves, star of Restaurant Recovery, is here with us. Hello, and we have Steve and Claudine. Little fun fact, it's the diner where Walt Disney used to eat by because it was closed by the studios. And it's just really famous here in Burbank. And it appeared in Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I remember seeing Chili John's sign in the night light up and I was like, oh my God, I passed by that place so many times. So that's where we're headed right now. It's not that long of a walk. It's like a 10 minute walk. I'm almost there. I'm on the street. We're getting there. I'm so excited. I don't know what I want to get. Do I want to get a hot dog or do I want to get a cheeseburger? And also the hours for Chili John's is 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. during the weekend Saturdays. And then they're closed on Sundays. take the, the ultimate chili dog okay. and can I just get like easy on the chili if possible? Yeah, of course. And everything on it? Yeah, everything on it. And a side of fries with that please. So I just put in my order and I'm 
waiting for right now, but as I'm looking at the menu, it actually lists some fun facts right here. Chili John's was trademarked in 1902, making it one of the oldest trademarks in the registry, even older than Coca-Cola. Oldest restaurant in Burbank, and it opened in 1946. And then <laughs> spicy foods, speed up your metabolism. This is chili. So okay. good. So good. Small Business Saturday, I've been celebrating it. It's the weekend of Thanksgiving. Oh, that's nice. And uh, I'm a journalism major, so for oh, my awesome. one of my projects, I'm writing a blog. Okay. And I decided to visit as many small businesses today. Okay. And I've heard of you guys. Do you like it? It's delicious. Okay, the good. chili. The chili, you can yeah. tell it's homemade, the texture. Yeah, yeah it's completely so different. Good. Thank, thank you, so much, thank you. What an experience. <laughs> I got a free hat. I'm a little quiet and it may sound like I wasn't excited when I got a free hat. No, my literal, my literal heart burst out of my chest and I was screaming internally. Chili Johns. <laughs> so nice. The guy was asking me about what I was doing today. He's like, choose the color. I'm like, okay, the red one speaks to my soul. Then one of the owners, she's the owner with her husband. She came up to me and told me all about the process of their hot dog. Cause we all know what hot dog is and how hot dog is made. And they put so much effort, money and time into making sure that their hot dogs are fresh are good and edible to the public. And not just that, but like I said, good, tasty. You can have a decent hot dog and be like, okay, that was good. And then you can have an amazing fucking hot dog and be like, that's one of the best places to get hot dogs. And Chili John's is one of them. Um, oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. It's the chili. The chili just does it for me. Chili blew me out of the fucking park because the texture is amazing. It tastes so authentic. It tastes homemade from scratch. Call me a fucking sappy person, but it tastes like someone made it with love. I'm definitely gonna come back because I wanna try a bunch of other stuff. I see that they also have breakfast. 
I love me a chili cheese breakfast burrito. That was an amazing, amazing experience. You know, let me make a separate commentary video just about Chili John's. Illy Chili John's, let's keep you in business forever. Come out to Burbank, travel, it's worth it. We made it to our 10th location. We're actually back at the same parking square where St. Boba and Donuts was this morning, but the reason we didn't go to this other business place is because they weren't open that early. And that is Casitas Tacos Al Carbon. This is a morning tonight Mexican joint that specializes in tacos, burritos in a no frills strip mall location. There are two locations. There's one here in Burbank and there's also one in North Hollywood. And their hours are 10 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. Monday through Saturday and they're closed on Sundays. I'm actually going to pick up something for my sister here and we're going to share that. I got the chicken taquitos and it comes in a plate with rice, beans, sour cream, and guacamole. What I also wanted to get was their Jamaica with extra ice. I'm not an extra ice person, but I was feeling it. I need a little bit of refreshment right now. We're gonna try it right now. Mm. Oh my god. That is so refreshing. Oh my gosh. That is delicious. I've been drinking Jamaica many, many years, so I love it, but this one's really good. Now we're off to location number 11. And then we're heading home, and we're gonna try this food out. Yeehaw. So because I don't have hands, I'm sitting at a little bench right now from my next location, which is World Empanadas. Family run business offering savory, sweet, and vegan empanadas. So, little vegans out there, you'll love this place. With homemade salsas in a cozy setting. Their hours are from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. for the week and weekend. It's time for some empanadas. I'm going to bring some home for my dad because he wants to try them. And he wants the beef one, so that's the one we're going to get today. Let's go pick up the food. from stop 10 and 11 and I'll be honest with you the tank is a little full <laughs> but I am still gonna try these and then we're gonna see where we're headed off after that because it's getting a little dark and I need a little rest that's the reality of uh, filming eating videos let's do world empanadas it says world empanadas in the crust of the empanada this is the beef one this is what my dad wanted so I just got the one that he was gonna eat they have a lot they also have sweet one I saw a Nutella and banana one next time because there's always a next time for these places so let's open it up it is hot fresh out the oven and they're so so friendly over there gotta love that beautiful service Mmm. Wow. You know what I love? The freaking crust. The filling's really good. It's an interesting texture. It's more, I don't want to say mushy meat, but it's more grounded. It's not as chunky. Mmm. Mmm. I love the crust. Gotta love the flakiness. Mmm. A little spicy there. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite out of the chicken taquitos from Casitas Taco Al Carbon, another place where the lady was a literal freaking gem. And inside, I love it. There's like stools, some seats, really cozy and nice. This is also my sister's dinner, so I'm just gonna take one bite out of it to say I've tried it and I want to try it. Let's try the one that has guacamole on it. Chicken taquito time. Mmm. Mmm. 
listen, I like my chicken dry. So I do feel that the chicken's a little bit dry for people who probably want like juicier chicken. That is really good. I love the crunch. Again, I like my chicken dry. I believe this is a chicken breast. It didn't say on the menu, but I like this. With the guacamole and that orange rice. Who doesn't love that orange rice? Beans with cheese on top, moi. Oh, and it also comes with a nice portion of chips. Sometimes I wish I could be like Eric the Electric and eat all, finish all this, but don't worry. None of this food's going to waste and then have the capacity for even more. LOL, I look stupid with this Hello Kitty scarf on, but whatever. So when I bit into the taquito and the empanada, for some reason it gave me some space. And now that I'm walking, I'm back to being full, but then I get some space. So it's on and off again. And because of that, I am by the next location. Stop number 12, Pinocchio's slash Monte Carlo Deli Market. I had to do this one because this is where my small business Saturday celebration began. We went during Thanksgiving weekend on actual small business Saturday to this pizzeria that sells pastas, pizzas, sub sandwiches. And then we visited the deli market, which sells a lot of meats. And then they also carry panetton. We stumbled by, we're like, why not? We love pizza, we love pasta. We wanna support places here in Burbank. And then this became our staple. We come here every single small business Saturday since we moved here and we eat at Pinocchio's. I will not be getting their food though. I've had their pizza, I've had their pasta, I've had their tiramisu, their cannolis. I've had a lot of stuff here. And I also had their gelato, which is what I'm going to get because that is just enough to, to fill up the little room I have right now. I've had their gelato and I'm excited I'm also gonna pick up some gelato for my dad because he is obsessed with the coconut and the coffee chocolate chip here. The hours for Pinocchio are 11 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. for the week and weekend. And for the deli, they open at 9 a.m., close at 8 p.m. for the week and Saturday, and then 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Sundays. Let's go grab some gelato. Take it home. They have three types of containers. You can have the small one, a medium one, or you can even get a pint or a quart. It's so interesting seeing it empty because I always come here on Saturdays and it's so busy. Sometimes the line is outside the door. So it's that good. to our last location which is stop number 13. I'm actually headed with my friends to Lancer's restaurant which is another small business that I feel like I've mentioned on here. <laughs> 
I've mentioned this place many times like Martino's. It was where I did my freaking oatmeal challenge. Ranked it number one out of all the places I've tried. It's in the literal freaking thumbnail. And it was also mentioned in my Twin Peaks video where I got diner food. I got the cheeseburger plate with a strawberry shake and one of my favorite plates from that restaurant, like their fried chicken plate and their breakfast. Wow, what a dummy. We gotta love classic diners that serve classic diner food. Their hours are very interesting. They're open from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Monday through Sunday, but they have different hours for different purposes. For delivery and pickup, it's from 7 a.m. to 10.30 p.m., but for dine-in, it's from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. So that's one of the reasons we're ending the night here. My friend's on his way to pick me up, and then we're gonna meet my other friend there. So yeah. Let's go, let's end the night. 13 small businesses. Literally going in my PJs, because I'm so tired. 12 small businesses, and at the 13th, I was tired. <laughs> I came with my beautiful friends, who were also really tired, and the only footage I got was that of them that you saw, the place, and the food I ordered. We got to talking and talking and talking, so I did not film anything but the b-roll footage, so another voiceover. I actually got some hunger after a mini two-hour break from Pinocchio's, and I was craving something sweet again, so Lancers has a lot of dessert options, and I decided to go with their banana split. I saw this on their Instagram story highlights when checking out their page so I immediately decided this is what I was gonna get. Look at her. The banana split comes with vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate ice cream with whipped cream, a banana cut in half, a cherry, and I asked for extra, extra fudge. Yes, extra fudge. We love chocolate. I also got a slice of their carrot cake that shortly came after, and I forgot to film it. Forgive me, but 10 out of 10 recommend. Their cake is so good. But I never tried the carrot cake, and I'm happy I did. We devoured this. It was so delicious. Presentation was gorgeous, and we love this diner. Like I said, my family and I pick up dinner and breakfast here all the time. Lovely staff. I always get the best service, whether it's pick up or dine in. Delicious food. Recommend the California omelette, fried chicken dinner plate, hamburger. I love their fat fries. They serve really fat steak fries. Their pumpkin pie, cherry pie that I tried for the first time in my Twin Peaks video, their chocolate cake, their milkshakes. I saw that they offer Oreo now, their chicken club sandwich. The list is endless. So as you can see, I have lots of love for this place. <laughs> What a perfect way to end the night, guys. I'm back home and this is the end of the video. Today we supported 13 small businesses. As always, my perfectionist overachiever brain gets in me and I start thinking, oh, I should have done a little bit more. But like I said in my not spooky farm video, there's only so many hours in the day. There's only so much capacity in the human stomach. Like I said, I wish I was Eric the Electric. 13 is a great number. Forget the unlucky 13, no, it's, it's lucky 13. Like I always say, support small businesses 24 seven, all the time, all day, every day. It is so important. Support the businesses in your community. Give them your support, your money, your time to listen, to listen to their stories, read up on their stories, talk to people, you meet people, you make connections. Next week, it's gonna be Small Business Saturday and this is when that video is going to be up. Like I said, I'm going to link every single information about these places that I visited today in my description below. I will also be posting on my social media on small business saturday i'll be posting on my instagram stories i'll be posting on instagram i also link down my social media in my description below i'm currently public at the moment so follow me and if not stalk me just make sure you see the stories or my instagram post and go support these businesses and other small businesses you guys are aware of and i am really excited because part two is going to happen i just decided this because i have a lot more small businesses i wrote down that i really want to visit it's definitely happening in the next month or two i hope you guys go celebrate small business saturday only shop at small businesses next saturday today was so much freaking fun and that is all for today's video guys if you love to give it a thumbs up if you hate to give it a thumbs down if you liked more thumbs up press the subscribe button subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you all next video as well.